Yo, yo, it's ODB from OLP. This is a special feature from Trucks Magazine. This was a double issue. You can see there issues 45 and 46, and it features Chris Vorhest's 87 S10. Now, I know what you're thinking. That's not an S10. It actually is. We're going to take a look at it. For those that don't know, this magazine is where Courtney... Stillwell and uh, Brian McCormick, where they ended up going to, I don't think it was for a very long time, but uh, if you recall, August 99, Street Truck starts. They stay there for a good 10-year run-ish. Well, when their run was up, they were looking for different slots. Courtney was shooting for various magazines, but I do know that they all wrote and shot for this magazine. They're very rare. I only own a few. I remember seeing them at the grocery store. So let's look at the feature uh, for Chris Vorhest's 87S10. Now, <clears throat> I pulled this issue out to do a quick video for social media, and I said, well, let's try to keep the theme and do the little bit longer feature here so you guys can see it for anybody that sees this on social media and wants to see the whole thing. Again, Chris Vorhest, uh, 87S10, and this one is called Full Size Dime. The photos were by Billy Blanco. So Billy, shout out to Billy, um, Sever Ties, New York. I've known Billy a long time. And I never realized until today that Billy uh, shot the feature, which is cool. Uh, you can see there on the right side a full size look for a mini Chevy. And this is an Acrophobia truck from New York, I believe. If I remember correctly, seeing a New York plate on it. Um, pretty unique. I think they pulled the front end um, conversion off pretty awesome. Now, granted, you know, being an OBS fan, you know, we all can look at this front end and kind of go, well, it, it does look smaller. Well, ab you know, absolutely, it definitely is. But I think they, they really pulled it off, especially with the body line um, coming in here. Kind of cool. I think it ends, I think that they ended kind of the body line right over here. But uh, it's kind of hard to tell with the red paint. But I think it's a cool truck. Even all these years later, um, I think that this truck could easily compete. And I don't know if it's still around. Now, here's the tough thing on these issues. They don't really tell you what month they are. I want to say this was like 2007. And I might be able to look in uh, the table of contents and kind of figure it out. But it wasn't super clear. But, you know, you guys know from seeing this truck I'm seeing I'm sure on the, the show scene I don't remember seeing a lot of it uh, you basically have the cover and you have six uh, page feature and it was a little bit different because this is the first page you saw I swapped to and it's only a one page here so what they did was probably to drive the advertising piece is when you flipped from the main two page spread you have feature and advertiser you can look at this thing and just see yeah, there you go. You can see the body line does come all the way up. Uh, looks really cool. I mean, I dig the red paint, the red interior. Uh, it really has a hot rod theme. I think they pulled off a lot of nice stuff on it. And I don't know that this truck got the full maybe recognition that um, it should. So this is the one of the reasons why we do the podcast, OLP. And we do this YouTube channel because we can look back at things. And some of this maybe you've never seen. And you go, hey, man, it's awesome. Dash looks pretty cool, something a little bit different than the typical S10 dash. You can see the vintage AC, the uh, digital, looks like um, pressure gauges maybe, kind of the older setups that were offered at that time, maybe by airlift. Again, another front shot just showing how, how I think it really looks good. They pulled this off, not an easy feat. We would see some weird front end conversions in the mini truck scene sometimes and sometimes you kind of go eh. but this one i think certainly is, is super clean i also love the bed i i would always dig when they would do a bed like this where the 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 mods speak for themselves and you know just being able to see a little bit of the cross member maybe get in there if you've got to change a fitting or a bag or something to that effect uh just real tight tolerances there looks awesome super nice billet wheel which are the Boyd Magnetos, I believe. 
pretty cool stuff. And then again, you can kind of see this is what wraps up the feature right here. Uh, you got your bed shot there. You can kind of see the cover, how they pulled it off. They don't really show a photo, I don't think, with the cover necessarily on. But uh, pretty cool there. Sony Explode speakers. The box is a little bit different. Kind of sit behind the driver's seat, being that it's an extended cab. Or in the extended cab section, rather. But again, you can see the cover right there. The custom cover. And that might just be that it's flipped up right here. Uh, now that I'm looking at it. I never got to see this truck in person. Have you guys seen it? Have you seen this magazine? Do you have any of these issues? I think I have three. And I stumbled across it because Courtney, rest in peace, wrote about Pat Nichols' ballistic, believe it or not, in one of the issues. He also wrote about Jay LaRosa's dime um, and other stuff, which I'll have to kind of highlight that. I've, I've shared that in the past, but uh, certainly appreciate all the support. If you like what we're doing here, leave a comment, even if it's just a thumbs up emoji and spread the word to the homies, um, you know, the, the people that you know that would appreciate this content. Don't forget to search OLP via your favorite podcast app. We live the scene. OLP, you know how we do. Stay on the rise, y'all. It's one dope truck. We at you.